Uh, punches so loud you can hear them on the cell phone video. Last week, this sixth grader was attacked by a classmate at Fletcher Middle School in Neptune Beach. And new at 11, the father of the boy is speaking out tonight after his son was not only punched twice, but this video was posted on social media along with other fights. Our Haley Harrison is on your side tonight with his father's concerns. The video starts 22 seconds before the attack. A classmate of the sixth grader had him cornered before punching him in the face. We'll have to say that if you watch this video, um, any type of parent with any type of feelings for children should be, just be mortified. Um. And the nightmare doesn't stop after the punches were thrown Wednesday. The video was found by the student's sister on an Instagram page called Fletcher Middle Fights. The page has more than 200 followers and encourages submissions of other videos, stating, DM me with Fletcher Fights. I'm going to give up if Instagram keeps taking down my videos. Right now, there's three other disturbing videos of students attacking each other posted. Here some thug has decided to take my son's innocence and make it his 15 minutes of fame. He premeditated this. He knew what he was going to do. And as we know, the Internet is something that's going to be around forever. This will never go away. Duval County Public Schools is aware of the Instagram page, telling First Coast News in a statement. Whenever we become aware of these types of social media pages, we do contact the platform host to request that the page be removed. Obviously, we have no control over these social media networks, but we do make those requests. The student's father says it has also been concerning that he and his wife have had to initiate calls to school administrators and the district to see how they are responding to the attack. We feel like the school should be on top of let's keep these parents informed. Let's keep these parents, let them know what's going on in this situation. The district stated students who violate the code of conduct are disciplined accordingly. Consequences can include suspension, referral to an alternative center, or the involvement of law enforcement. School leadership followed all district protocols. In Neptune Beach, I'm Healy Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.